Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square x by dt square plus 4x equals to a sin t cos t. So here, x is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. Right. So firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here d square y by dt square. So d square x by dt square is the highest derivative. So our order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. So degree is 1. Coming to the problem. Now let's write the given differential equation in operator form. Solution. Given differential equation. d square x by dt square plus 4x equals to a sin t cos t. Right? Now, here we are having independent variable t and dependent variable x. Right? So, here differential operator d will be d by dt. Then d square will be d square by dt square. Now we can write the equation as d square x plus 4x equals to a sin t cos t. Now let's take x common from these two terms. We'll get d square plus 4 into x equals to a sin t into cos t which is an operator form. Which is in operator form f of d into x equals to q, right? Where f of d equals to d squared plus 4 and q equals to a sin t cos t. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation using use dependent variable x equals to xc plus xp, right? Here x is a complementary function and xp is a particular integral, right? We'll find xc that is complementary function using roots of auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation by taking r which is to 0 we will get the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation okay and we will find xp using 1 by f of d into q so firstly let us find complementary function Using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into x equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we are having f of d equals to d squared plus 4 replace the differential operator by m then we will get f of m equals to m squared plus 4. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m squared plus 4 equals to 0. Now find the roots. We can find roots in two ways. Okay. Now, take this plus 4 to RHS will get minus 4. Then, m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 4, which is equal to plus or minus. You can split minus 4 as minus 1 into 4, which is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 into square root of 4. We know that square root of minus 1 equals to i. And square root of 4 equals to 2. 
then we'll get or we can just write this as i into 2 or plus or minus 2i okay the imaginary root so we have m equals to plus or minus 2i which are imaginary now we can also find roots in other way just write this plus as minus into minus okay we just wrote plus 4 as minus of minus 4 and now write this as minus 1 into 4 we know that i square equals to minus 1 and 2 square equals to 4 right so replace minus 1 by i square and 4 by 2 square then you can write i square 2 square as 2i whole square. This is in a square minus b square form. So we can write this as a plus b into a minus b. Now equate each factor to 0. m plus 2i equals to 0. m minus 2i equals to 0. From this we will get m equals to minus 2i. m equals to 2i. Right? m equals to minus 2i and 2i. That is m equals to plus or minus 2i. So we got complex conjugate roots or imaginary roots. Therefore, m equals to plus or minus 2i are the roots of f of m equals to 0 that is our auxiliary equation which are imaginary or complex conjugate we know that if a plus ib is a complex number, then the complex, sorry, then the conjugate of a plus ib, if a plus ib is a complex number, then the conjugate of this is a minus ib. If a minus ib is a complex number, then conjugate of this is a plus ib, right? But here, in our case, we don't have real part. Then for plus IB conjugate will be minus IB. For minus IB conjugate will be plus IB. Okay. Fine. We know that when we have roots M equals to A plus R minus IB, then our complementary solution will be for X being dependent variable will have e power a into independent variable t into constant some constant into cos b into dependent variable sorry independent variable plus c2 sine b into dependent variable right then for a being zero you'll have e power 0 into t equals to e power 0 which is equals to 1 right then we have 1 into c1 cos bt plus c2 sin bt now let's write for b equals to 2 complementary function x equals to 1 constant into cos 2t plus c2 sin 2t. Now let's find particular integral.
we know that particular integral say xp is given by 1 by f of d into q is equal to we have f of d d square plus 4 into q a sin t cos t since we know that 2 sin theta cos theta equals to sin 2 theta if we take this, uh, this 2 to RHS, we will get sin theta cos theta equals to sin 2 theta by 2. Now, for theta equals to 2, we can replace sin t cos t by sin 2 t by 2. Right? Then we will get 1 by d squared plus 4 into a into replace sin t cos t by sin 2t by 2 since sin t into cos t equals to sin 2t by 2 right now we can write this as a which is considered as constant into 1 by f of d d square plus 4 into sin 2t by 2 otherwise we can just write a sin 2t by 2 as a by 2 into sin 2t which is equals to a by 2 constant into 1 by f of d plus sin 2t. Okay, this is in 1 by f of d into sin ax form. Or already we have a right. Let's consider it as some b for b equals to 2. Let's consider the terms under brackets as some x p1 for our convenience. Okay. Let's find x p1. Equals to 1 by d square plus 4 into sine 2x. So here this is in 1 by f of d into some sine dx form. So let's find d square which is given by minus b square for b equals to 2 you'll get minus 2 square equals to minus 4. Now let's see replace d square by minus 4 and see what happens. Okay consider 1 by f of d. For our convenience. Or you can check using denominator also. We always should get non-zero in the denominator. Okay, denominator should, denot, denominator should not be equals to zero. We should get always not equals to zero. One by now. We are just replacing d square by minus four. So we got one by minus four plus four, which is equal to one by zero, undefined. Right? By replacing d square, we'll get undefined term. So what we'll do? We'll not replace d square now. We'll just write dependent variable. Sorry, independent variable. Okay, here t is a independent variable into one by find the derivative of f of d. If f of d equals to d square plus four. Then f dash of d, that is derivative of f of d will be 2d. Derivative of d square is 2d. The derivative of constant is 0. So, we will get 2d into sine 2d. Which is equal to t by 2 into 1 by d into sine 2d. Right? Now, let us find integral of sine 2d. Here, 1 by d is a inverse of differential operator. This is equals to t by 2 into integral sine 2t into d. This is equals to t by 2 into integral sine 2t is minus cos 2t by 2. 
which is equals to minus into plus minus t cos 2t by 2 to the 4. Therefore, x p1 equals to minus t cos 2t by 4. So, let's replace x p1 in x p. Since x p1 equals to minus t cos 2t by 4, then our x p becomes a by 2 into minus t cos 2t by 4, right? Or you can just write this as a by 2 into minus 1 by 4 into terms involving t, right? is equals to minus a into 1 minus a by 2 poza 8 into t cos 2t which is a particular integral. Now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by x equals to complementary function plus particular integral. Okay. Here x is a dependent variable. Okay. So instead of writing y, always we used to write y, right? But here we have x as our dependent variable and t as our independent variable. So we choose x. So x equals to xc, which is nothing but complementary function. c1 cos 2t plus c2 sine. 2t plus xp minus of a by 8 t cos 2t. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.